So Susan, what is your opinion on tulips? I have no opinions on tulips, I'll be honest. Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, have a drink. And today we have not just a pink gin, but a hot pink gin. Yes. Um, this is the first gin from the Old Curiosity Gin Club. Um, we recently covered the core range from Old Curiosity. Uh, and I'm going to take a moment quickly just to say why these guys are awesome. Non-spawn. Uh, so, Susan, on a scale of one to five, one being not very at all, and five being the biggest pain in the cunt you've ever known, how hard is it to get things delivered to this address? Oh, do not start. Do not start. <laughs> <laughs> I'll assume that's a five. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a bloody nightmare getting things delivered here. Um, mm. People are always getting lost or failing deliveries or just not trying. It's it's an absolute fucking nightmare. Um, so it happened with this as well. Um, the first box was due to be delivered. Didn't show up. I text them and was, well, I didn't text them. I emailed them and I was like, hey, this didn't show up. And the guys could not have been more attentive if they tried, uh, to the point where one of their distillery team literally hand-delivered it to me. That is cute. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. I, I, I love how, like, homespun this whole thing is. I did actually put the card for this somewhere. Here it is. Um, each each one of these is handwritten. Look. Oh! Look at that. Look at that for attention to detail. Oh, that's amazing. And they've got this, which I think it would be a bit of fun if we filled in. Um, mm. What do you taste? Mark on our tasting wheel the flavours you can identify in this month's gin. For example, if you think it's very citrusy with just a hint of floral, then mark citrus as a one and floral as a three. So, that's a, oh, that's a, bit, cute. Of, a bit of fun there for us for later. But for now, uh, we should talk about not just the gin, but also what comes with it. So each month, it costs about 20, well, it doesn't cost about 20 quid, it's exactly 20 pounds if you go for the full year, which I did, because I'm an alky. Mm. Um, you get a 20 CL of their gin, you get a bag of, like, suggested garnishes, and you also get a tonic pairing, which this month is Bon Accord Tonic Water, um, based in Edinburgh as well. So it's all from Edinburgh, all local shit. All local, never tried yeah. that tonic either. Nor have I. I've tried the orange, like sparkling orange, I think it was. Okay. I tried. Um, again, you will not be not surprised when you hear the words Stockbridge Market. Ah, uh, ha, ha, your home. <laughs> it basically is, yeah. Um, most recent acquisition from there, smoked butter. Smoked butter? Who even smokes their butter? I don't know, but I think that tells you everything you need to know about me. I bought smoked butter from a farmer's market in Stockbridge. <laughs> Any hot. Um, I'm quite excited for it. Not you, Google. Piss off. <laughs> okay, accepted Ugh. that as a... Nah, go yeah, away. did. Yeah, good. Right, so, um, we're three minutes in, and we haven't yet cracked on with this, so... I'm gonna pour as a swiggle. Now then, what the fuck did I do with my measure? Oh, what I'm did not... you do with your measure? I don't know. Um, oh, here it is. Oh! I left Put it, it somewhere. The table. I left okay. it somewhere stupid. Right, cool, fair enough. Um, because of how this worked last time, I'm going to again measure these out. Yeah. Um, because that just worked really well. So we'll do 25 yeah. to 50. We found that the the tonic ratio was just perfect last time when we did mm. measure it out. Okay, first of all, that colour's gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah, I found that's absolutely bloody adorable. Um, I have never had anything infused with tulip before. It's a very odd. Thing I can't say it. that I have, like, not that I would ever recall, and I feel like you would know about yeah. it if you were... Yeah, so I, I think they can get away with a myriad of sins with this one, purely because... What does a tulip taste like? I've never gone up to a tulip and gone, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have a bit of that, lovely. <laughs> uh, right, cool, so we should start by smelling what it's like, I suppose. Okay, get our snoots in. Strong. Oh yeah. Very strong. Ethanol-y, um... <laughs> hmm. There's something gardeny about it, but like a very generic floral Yeah, kind of I'm a... getting a little bit of floral once I get past the ethanol. I think the thing with these gins, though, is they are quite strong on the nose. Yeah. Until um, you go in there with your tonic. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, tulips are not renowned for being massively scented. So I suppose the ethanol and the other bits and pieces will come through more naturally than... Yeah. Than that. Um, 
I'm going to suggest we try this neat first to see what okay. it's like, and then we'll whack him with yeah, the perfect let's go serve. With that. Let's go with that. Oh, there's something floral. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It tastes um, almost like lavender, though, or something. Yeah. Am I crazy for thinking that? No, no, I was thinking the same thing, actually. It's got, it's something kind of like, um, like your Nan's soap. Mm, yeah, there's almost yeah. a soapy, a soapy flavor to it. It's extremely strong, and yeah. there's not much neutralizing whatever mm -mm. the florals are there. So you've got florals, you've got ethanol, and it's like very much like it packs a punch. Yeah. I mean, as a floral gin, it delivers, you know, it's a perfectly good floral gin, but mm. not many people are going to have this. In fact, I don't think anybody's going to have this neat because no. their recommended serve is with a tonic. So we may as well crack on with that. Now then, my next question is, what does I do with my bloody bar blade? It's over here. Yay. Oh, thank God for editing. Mm. Right, so. <laughs> It's just like five yeah. minutes of us looking for things. Basically, yeah. Uh, I mean, what's new? Uh, 200 mil. Cool. So I'm going to have enough left over for another one. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, that is hella That's fluorescent. Pretty. Oh, my God. That's a pink highlighter. That is adorable. I feel like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde designed this gin, and I love it. Wow. I mean, it lives up to its name. That is fucking hot pink. Oh, absolutely. I, t I would never have even thought a gin could go that <laughs> colour. That's incredible. I wish I had a slow-mo camera now, just so we could, like, capture that properly. Oh, that, is, oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely... If nothing oh, I else... I love that. Again, if nothing else, the visual appeal <gasps> oh my knocks it out God. of the park. Yes. Ah, but we're yes. not done yet. So, each one of these comes with, like, a pouch of garnishes and I think it's invariably going to be Ooh, petals let's go sprinkling <gasps> so That's this month exciting. it's chili petals I'm gonna do my one oh. I'm gonna show the petals That's... They look a little bit limp though, don't they? Well, they've been dried, so... Ah, that's yeah. why um, oh, Although I don't oh, this still rehydrate in the gin Mebs? This is really fun I feel like I'm not just having a gin and tonic. I feel like I'm having like the cocktail experience here. Yeah, yeah. Which it's, it's nice that it all comes together. Oh, oh, I've, oh, I've got a future as a QVC presenter, haven't I? Right. <laughs> this looks fucking gorgeous. Oh yeah. Like just I'll for look visual, at that. just for visual appeal, that is absolutely. Look. Let's get Feast a. Feast your eyes on that. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. So, what does it smell like with the tonic? Oh, that smells very peppery. Yeah, kind of peppery, just me? and like the, I feel like the dried flowers give it a, like mm. an interesting kick to it. It smells, it smells good. It smells appetizing. Yeah. I feel. I'm getting like a lot of like curry spice kind of a aroma to it. Yeah, I'm getting um, yeah, I'd say almost like cumin or something. Yeah. Which is odd. I'm I'm still kind of getting lavender. Yeah. I don't feel yeah, like I'm getting tulip. Think... Like. No, but again, like. <laughs> <laughs> Tulip, man. <laughs> All right, I've got to try what this is like. I feel like I... My brain right now is like, you're about to drink nail varnish remover. <laughs> just because of the colour. Oh, it's not that strong. Very delicate. I've just given that a full swish around. There is a very delicate sweetness. Yeah, super delicate, though. Almost something a little bit oaty about it. Um, yeah, I in, think... a, in a very strange way. There's something kind of like um, yeah. cereal about it, and you can you can smell that on it. And it's weird because it tastes nothing like I thought it was going to mm -mm. taste. And it tastes very different from their other ones that we've tried as well. It actually. does. It's, it's very distinctive, actually. It's so very I feel distinctive. Like a lot of their other ones packed like a big punch. This one is very. It's, it's gentle. It's super subtle, which is not a bad mm. thing at all. Do you know, actually, I think it compares very favourably to the Midsummer Solstice, because, like, we both Ooh. love that gin. Oh, that, yeah. And I think this one competes on yeah, the same this kind is, of level. This is nice. It's so refreshing as oh, well. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gentle, I think. And again, that's bizarre, because it's gentler than the lavender or the chamomile one that we had, and it's stronger. It's, well, see, that's the thing. It's the, it's the flavours, though. Mm. The flavours are doing... Well, they're doing so much work. And actually, the more the more I taste of it, the more... I do get a little bit of a, a hint of kind of, I want to say sweetness or citrus or even orange. Yeah, um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of like gin characteristics to it, you know, it's not just, just flowers. 
Oh, that's really nice. Mm. It gets better the more you drink of it as well. Like, mm. the more you drink of it, the more you start to notice the flavours that are there. There's not a lot of, like, juniper in it. So there's not a lot of, like, that kind of piney sort of flavour that you would normally get. But there is that kind of peppery no. cumin kind of a thing that you normally get with the complimenting yeah. spices. Um, so definitely that's definitely peppery. There. Definitely peppery. Maybe even a little... Um, maybe that's why... Getting... Maybe that's the other spin on hot. Hot? Yeah. Oh, like interesting. The spices side of it. Maybe I'm just reading into that. Or something. <laughs> so maybe it's just the, the colour. Bloody incredible colour. Mm, it's like Barbie became really, really classy and was like, I just want to make like a cute fucking drink. It would do well in general because I feel yeah. like the people who just want something cute to look at mm. and want something pink, they're going to love that because yeah. of the petals and, yeah, it's, and like, it's got the, the colour. But, yeah. also... but then people who like gin are also going to like it because it actually tastes good, yeah. unlike the majority of pink gin that exists in the world. <laughs> like Yeah, it's not just, you know, bullshit flavour. It's mm. an actual solid gin, but at the same mm. time, it couldn't be pinker if it tried. It tastes, oh, it tastes sweeter the more I have of it. Mm. I'm getting grapefruit, actually. Yeah, I'm getting more citrus as we go along. Mm. But also, I can't get over, like, there is definitely something oaty about that. Yeah, there's. I'm getting a bit of oats, like, like you almost said, like a, a bit of like pepper. A, a delicate porridge kind of a flavour mm. in the back. Like, in a really, people are probably watching in a nice this way. Like, are you insane? <laughs> but genuinely. Um, yeah, there is lovely. something, there's something earthy about it, yeah. But in a really, in a really nice way. Mm. Like it tastes, it tastes natural. It doesn't taste synthetic, which is interesting because when we sniffed it, it was like all ethanol. Yeah. But then it doesn't, it doesn't taste fake. Mm. Yeah. But then when it opens mm. up, it's yeah. fantastic. Um, it is. I've had a lot of gin in my time. It's unlike any gin I've had. Mm. Yeah, um, I would, I would second that. Yeah. But it's fantastic. It's, it's genuinely bloody brilliant. Oh, it's lovely. And uh, any close? Oh, you've. You've I've that. hoovered it right up. It's that good. Mm. <laughs> like it's just a little sea of flowers. Like <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's. Do you know what the weather we're having at the minute as well? Mm, yeah, because it is. Because it's a refreshing gin as well. Yeah. Do you know what the worst thing about this is actually? It's only a twenty cl. Mm, you easily get. I know. A oh, CL I know. Absolutely. Easily. I know. <sighs> So like I'm buzzing cool. about how much Hendrix is there. Like yeah. <laughs> this is like we're gonna we're gonna Hoover this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hide this on. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a look here. Mark on the tasting wheel of flavors. You can identify the most much gin. For example, if you think it's very citrusy, just add a hint of floral at the mark. So one is low, three is high. So for citrus, I'd give it about a two because it takes a while to kick in. Yeah, but once it's there, it's there. I'd say two for citrus. Um, some of these, I don't know, in terms of. Fleshy fruits. I, I've not thought about it in that much detail. I don't mm. know about red fruits because there were times when I was thinking, mm, possibly. Like a, a almost hint like a cranberry of, kind of like a yeah, a sort of bitter red fruit, but not floral three. Yeah, super Easy. floral, grassy two. Yeah, uh, herbal. I'd, I'd give that a three as well. There's plenty of yeah. like a, kind of like an oregano. We kind of a whack, piney one again. We I talked was, about yeah. you know not a lot of juniper in there. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have call said. it piney. Sweet too, I would say. Like yeah. it's not super sweet, but it is compared to most gins. I would say. Yeah, the there's sweetness like, is there. Uh, there's an element to it, but it's not ridiculous. Um, mm. Nutty. Nutty too, maybe. Mm. Uh, a... Rooty. Oh, I would one. actually though maybe Rooty go three on it because I think Rooty yeah. implies because there's that sense of like we were saying. I mean, I know OT is different from Rooty, mm. but like there's a sort of earthiness to it. Which yeah, I don't know what they mean by Rooty exactly. Oh, it's like but... a licoricey kind of a thing. Oh, a lick. I mean, I wouldn't call it licoricey. That's an absolutely fantastic gin. Um, Lovely. As our last scores, ah. oh, oh no, card on the floor. No card, card on the floor. <laughs> How many flamingos out of five would you give this? I would give this four and a half pink flamingos out of five. Very worthy score. It mm. is lovely. And also, I love anything that is just like aesthetically pleasing. And I love the colour pink. Mm. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.75. Mm. Oh, very, so very high score. strong score. Yeah. This really impressed me. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this just because I was like, mm. tulip. What, what do you do with tulip? Yeah. I don't know what you do with Tulip, but if this is what you do with Tulip, they fucking knocked it out of the park. <laughs> and they should consider doing a production batch. Yeah. Because it's 
Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think absolutely brilliant. Commercially, um, I feel like it would have a lot of scope for doing oh, yeah. well. Yeah, like just purely from obviously the aesthetic side of it. Oh, totally. Um, but also, it's got loads of spice. Uh, it's a very floral gin. It opens up nicely. It's easy mm. to drink. It's refreshing. It's light. Yeah. And obviously, it turns this beautiful pink color. It loses. A, a little bit of a score because the juniper is not massively pronounced, which does kind of dock it a little bit as a gin. Because mm. obviously gin, by its very nature, should Despite be very juniper-forward gin. Yeah. Um, it's not what they're going for here, so it yeah. doesn't affect it too badly. I think if it was, you know, heavily junipered, then it would almost lose its way a little bit. But it compensates by being quite a peppery, cumin-y sort of a gin yeah, instead. Yeah, the flavours it does bring to the table. Yeah, um... I adore it. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with these. I actually know all 12 bottles that are coming out because they give you a little, like, Ooh, teaser we card. Get, I, I love their just their level of customer service as well. Yeah. I just think they go above and beyond in the attention to detail. The fact that they've sent you, that they've sent you this yeah. with your, like, with your name on it. Like, someone's actually gone and filled this out. And the fact that they've done the official pairing and provided, like, petals for you. Yeah. Like, dried flowers to put in there. Like, that's going to a whole new level. Yeah, and I'm it's just all like, from their yeah. little secret garden as well, which is mm. brilliant. Like, um, they care about the experience of actually drinking this gin. It's not just yeah. a business bashing it out. It's They want you to enjoy it. Yeah, and, you know, there's, there's love and care and thought that have gone into that. Um, and they've created something that is genuinely a little bit magical. Hmm. I would, I would agree. I would second that magical. Right. Cool. Well, there's going to be eleven more of these before the year's out, and I'm genuinely <laughs> looking forward. I'm genuinely looking forward to October's actually. Which one is that? Uh, spooky black mallow. You love anything spooky. I love anything also, spooky. Mallow. But black mallow. Marshmallow in a gin. Mm. Is it mallow like marshmallow? Or I mallow? think they mean the gourd, but. Oh, is yeah. It? Oh, okay. Yeah. I it. Maybe. I thought, I'm not I thought sure. they meant marshmallow, and I'm like, that's not a yeah. gin. Thing. Or curiosity, if you're watching this, comment down below. What's a mallow? What, it, what you mean by a mallow? We'd love that. Yeah. yeah, I love it, and I don't even know entirely because I'm a city boy. <laughs>